Here comes the dance moves. Muscle man Luke P in here doing push-ups. All the phones on do not disturb. What's up everybody? My name's Tyler Cameron and me and my mustache are gonna react to my intro video on The Bachelor. The intro videos in The Bachelor, day one, night one, are pretty iconic, you know, as you see everyone come out, you start to really start judging these guys and these girls and start picking your front runners and your favorites, you know? Beautiful Jupiter, a little Lake and Bay, a little contractor, hard hat. First time I ever really wore a hard hat on my own job. You know, measuring wood that has no place of going anywhere. And me wielding the hammer, that was a terrible technique. Don't ever sling a hammer like that. Drilling, we had no screws there. So we were really taking a drill and screwing into nothing. You know, selling the dream. Wiping off dust like I did something. <laughs> Here comes the dance moves. Mm. Had to take the shirt off. Come on, guys. You know that. Sex sells, baby. That's the move right there. Love that. You got to sell it hard. Y'all will learn. All right, let's break that one down. So there's some story behind the whole dancing thing. When I was going through the last part of casting, they brought me out to LA. And when I was in LA, I was there with my producer and we were like in like this intimate interview, kind of like you see like in your one-on-one -on -one interviews. And she was like, so like, what do you like to do for fun? I was like, well, I love to dance. She's like, you like to dance? I was like, yeah, like, I like to act a fool on the dance floor. She's like, um, like what's your, you know, did you, like, I was like, I danced in college. So like, you dance in college? I was like, yeah, like my background was like, I almost got a minor in dancing. I was like off by like two classes. And she's like, I gotta see something now. I was like, well then, I was like, I didn't even hesitate. I was like, well then you gotta give me a beat. And then she started giving me a beat and I just did some like Joe cool ass move like that. And we were just cracking up and I kind of like made it like much more light and easy during that interview. And then once that interview was over though, you walk out into another room, you know, like a t big table with like five or six producers. And then you walk into another room and there's a chair in the, in the end, like by the TV and then like a living room and like 20 producers all around this chair and they start grilling you, they start like trying to joke on you, make fun of you, and then all of a sudden my producer goes, he's a dancer, and I'm like, oh no. And they're like, you're a dancer? I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, you gotta show us a move. I was like, well, I don't have the right shoes to really do what I do. And they're like, come on, we gotta see something. I was like, nah, I just don't have the right shoes. I don't wanna hurt myself. And then all of a sudden, the girl starts playing the music, like ballet music, I was like, oh God. I remember I told them, I was like, I got a mean pirouette. And they're like, pirouette? I was like, yeah, I told you I'll do ballet, you know? And like, we gotta see it. So I busted out my pirouette for them after they like pressured me pretty hard because I wasn't gonna back down at this point. I had to show off, you know? Hit my pirouette and everyone was like, what in the world? So that happened. I get a call on Valentine's Day that I'm going to be on the show. And then a week later, my producer called me. She's like, hey, like, we think it'd be really, really funny if we did this whole like kind of dance video with like imitating Kevin Bacon from, from Footloose. I was like, oh God, here comes the embarrassment. Cause I remember my, mo my modeling agent sat me down. He's like, you don't need to do this show. Like you'll be just fine without the show. He showed me like this clause in the, uh, in the contract says we are able to use all embarrassing content of you. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna give him anything embarrassing. You know, and if, and if I do embarrass myself, I really don't care. Call like my talent agent, he's like, He's like, you know, I think it's a good idea. You know, it could be really funny, show your personality. And I was just like, oh Lord, this is gonna be really, really bad and embarrassing. And I talked to some more people about it. And then finally came to the conclusion, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna be known as a dancing contractor. And they came over, we shot that in uh, one of the houses that we were building. And that was one thing I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go all in. You can't like half-ass this or else you're gonna look like an idiot. I already do look like an idiot, but I would look even more like an idiot by half-assing it. So. I went full in, put out all the moves. We would watch a Kevin Bacon scene from, it was the Dirty Dancing scene on, I think it was like the Jimmy Fallon show. And we'd watch it, rewind it back, watch it, rewind it back, watch it, rewind it back. And then finally I would see it. I'd be like, okay, that's it right there. And I would hit it, do it. And we just kept doing a bunch of cuts of it. It was fun. It definitely uh, made an impression on night one because uh, 
people all knew me as a dancing contractor. And I didn't even talk to Hannah that night. So uh, that's what I was basically known for night one. But it's definitely a pretty funny, pretty cringeworthy video. I mean, if you know me, I like to goof around and I don't give a crap. So uh, yeah, that's that. So stoked that Hannah B is going to be the bachelorette. Are you? Yeah, you know, I just think she's drop dead gorgeous. You ain't wrong. I think us both being outgoing and expressive with ourselves. She's definitely that. I don't know about you though. Oh, the real star of the show here, Harley. Uh, had to, you know, dogs, boats, who doesn't love that? And dancing, all that in the intro. So I needed Harley to be a part of this. And that's my baby girl. That's the real woman in my life. That's the one who growls at anyone that comes near my bed right now. Until someone takes her spot, I'm gonna be single forever. I'm riding solo, I'm riding solo, solo. So I had to make sure that my video was a little bit crazy, a little bit out of the ordinary, which we definitely solved that one. But it's a, it's a great night, it's a fun night, you know. So one thing that's crazy is like when, when the show comes out, they went Pilot Pete's intro first and the man looked like a stud, you know. Little did we know, you know I'm just kidding. Uh, he comes out, you know, with his gear on and looking crazy, like with the aviators, looking like Tom Cruise, you know, that, what's that movie that he does with the flying the airplanes? What, you, Top Gun? You guys can say it, who cares? Someone, <laughs> someone's got to be hitting the record button. A Top Gun, I've never seen the movie. Tom, you know, he looked like a stud, you know. Matt Donalds was very cool because you got to see like he was the only, everyone in his family's deaf. And so he has to communicate with them through sign language, which is pretty amazing. You got muscle man Luke P in here doing push-ups and uh, more push-ups and then showering with Jesus and reading the Bible. You already know how that one worked out. Lay your hands or off what? me. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It was a fun night, it, you know, it, it was fun shooting it. It was fun seeing it on TV for the first time. What's kind of wild is the first episode, my video came out second. But the thing is, I was the last person to get picked up in the limo. The last person to go see Hannah. I was the 30th guy to come out of the limo. They told me to be ready at five o'clock. So I sat around, got my suit on. I was stoked. It was the suit my mom bought me. It was like my first night suit. It was, so we wanted to get a really nice one. We went to Brooks Brothers for that one. And everything else I got was from like Zara, cheap. You know, we got the really nice one on, I'm feeling good. You know, night one, gotta make mama proud. And I'm like waiting around. And then my window in my room was facing the back of the hotel. And I could see all the guys line up and get ready to go to the limo. So I'm counting like, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. They all go, oh, here's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They all go. It gets to like 1130. I'm like, I'm like, I'm counting like 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm like, yo, I'm never gonna go. They're just gonna leave me here in the hotel. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get eliminated before I even get to meet Hannah, you know? Finally, they get me. It's like 11.30, I'm tired. I've been, I'm like freaked out. You know, I've been rehearsing the same damn lines for the last two days. And I'm like ready to get the show on the road. I get down there, I meet all the fellas. It was like Dustin, it was Kevin Fortenberry. I think Luke Stone, Tyler G was in there. Rest in peace, brother. Um, it was all of us in there. So we were all kind of bonding and like hitting it off. And then we pull up to the limo and we see them, they all go out and I get out to go see Hannah and I see her and I basically black out. I freak, I freak out the lights, the cameras. I've been like watching everyone else go all four times before me. I'm like, oh, I got this, I got this. And then I get out of the limo and I black out. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm talking out of the side of my neck. I'm just saying craziest things. And then I realize, oh shit, I'm supposed to be saying those lines to her right now. And I kind of pick up halfway, smiles with every single mile, you know. As those Florida boys do, you know, sweet with their language. Awesome night, awesome intro video, very cringeworthy, very funny. Definitely a great way to, to make a statement with you guys and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. So I remember the first time I watched it, the show actually aired as I was flying home from Greece, uh, single. And um, <laughs> I was flying home from Greece. So I missed the whole first night. I'm like, I'm like texting with all my boys. They're kind of letting me know what's going on, you know, and, and, and how's it going. They're all basically making fun of me for this video. They're like, dude, I can't believe you, but this is so you. Get home, the next morning I wake up, I turn it on, and me and my mom watched it together, actually. And, and we were just cracking up, and, and she was like, what were you thinking? I was like, yeah, we, you know, they, you know, they kind of, you know, the producers, you want to listen to them and, 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 and want to be in good, you know, good cahoots with them, you know. I learned to not always go that way. It was, that's for later stories. My brothers, they definitely gave me a hard time for it. They, they made fun of me, you know, as they should and as they would. They make fun of me about everything. And Pops. And Pops, too. Pops was grilling me hard. He was making fun of me. So, so Pops was making fun of me. My brothers were making fun of me. My homies were making fun of me. 
if you know me, you know I don't really care. I like to just have fun. Uh, so that's kind of how, how that all worked out. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. But uh, make sure you comment what you guys want me to react to next, whether it's for my season or anything else, really, honestly. There's definitely a lot for my season to react to. So uh, comment below, let me know what you want to see, and we'll make it happen. Maybe my mustache will come with next time. In the still of the night. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. But uh, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you tune into my next video. Uh, hope you're having fun because I'm loving having you here. I held you, held you tight.